Morning everyone. Welcome to Road Road Restore. I'm John. So what we're up to this week, well we're working on the landfill bike again, uh, originally I was had, had in my mind that I'm just going to rebuild the top end and stick it back in the frame and pray that everything's okay at the bottom. But I've had a few comments from a few knowledgeable CBR people who are recommending me to take the bottom end apart just to check all the chains because because they're known to be very troublesome on these bikes. So I've decided to bite the bullet and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the engine off and crack them open like I did on the other one. Uh, the cam chain, not the cam chain, or well, the cam chain, yeah, cam chain was tight and notchy. The oil chain wasn't too bad, but the alternator chain had locked up in parts, just totally locked up. And I think that's what the original noise was on the engine when you tried to start it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And also, I've been in this shed just to check because the the engine that I because the engine that I stripped before was out of the landfill bike, which is this engine. That's the bottom half, that's the top half, that's the pots. Uh, that's the engine I'm working on now, which was the uh, <coughs> supposedly good sphere engine for the bike. It turns out it was actually worse than this one. So what I'm going to do is, I've checked the registration document of the bike and I've checked the engine number. And the engine number is right. So I'm going to keep this off because it's got the engine number on, which is the engine number what goes with the bike. Uh, so basically I'm going to take everything out of the other engine, put it in this one. Well, everything that's salvageable. Uh, and they're the pots what are totally knackered. That one's knackered, that one's knackered, that one's knackered, and that one's not too bad. And... Uh, this is the original cylinder block, what was on the bike. And all these pots are pretty good. It's just that little corroded away part there what's made the uh, head gasket leak. Hopefully you can see that. It's just still corroded away there. How that can get into there from there, I don't know how well, the water can go from there to there, but you know, it's obviously somewhat to do with it. So, hopefully, that puts everybody back in the picture because a lot of you have been confused what's going on with all these engines. So, hopefully, that's put people back in the picture and they can follow and understand what's going on. Can you see with that light? So, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay then, so I'm just going to basically start off by giving this a good degrease with some degrease up and uh, I'll let you watch this for a few seconds and I'll play the usual do 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 Yeah, the parts washer. Yeah, a piece of piss, one of these.
Come on. Let's get that good rub down and uh, do it again. Okay then, so that looks a little bit better. So let's do the same thing all over again. But uh, no, you don't need to watch that anymore. that cleaned up fairly well. I've started on to clean in the top of this engine as well which will be which I will be sitting on the top of this bottom end and we've got the uh, head fairly nicely cleaned up as well just a bit more cleaning on it. I'm going to be painting it silver or black so I suppose now all we've got to do is start stripping this down. So I think the first thing I'll do is get these pistons out. But as some of you have probably noticed, so yes you've all probably noticed that the past few weeks my videos have been, video quality has been getting worse and worse. So I'm going to uh, take all my cameras to bits and try and give them a good uh, overall and see if I can't get the picture to become any better. Okay so this is a few days later from uh, my last clip because I've been editing my video and I have noticed uh, especially when I'm on full screen the poor quality of the picture due to the cameras being pretty worn out because as you know this is a very harsh environment for the cameras and uh, well this one hopefully isn't too bad but it's not perfect and this one is probably terrible but like I have been trying to fix them I do have three cameras I've been trying that's got a problem with all three of them this one with the sand make my video, strip my engine, go put it in on the laptop to edit it all. Then when I start watching the video, a lot of places there's no audio, because the audio keeps cutting out. So that camera is a pain in the neck anyway. And this is the picture. Yes, that's the picture. And this is the picture on this one. So I've decided I've got to try and get a new camera and if I don't get a new camera before Saturday then this is going to be the end of the video. And then when I get my new camera we can restart the project. Hopefully it won't be up. Hopefully I'll get it before the next video is out. So wish me luck on that. And uh, so I'll probably say goodbye now. Thanks for watching. So anyway. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you with a new camera. I see you in another light, brother.